Okay, everybody, I'm back. I'm down in the basement by myself. Um, I'm trying to see if I can catch anything on this. Um, what I have on the stairs right now, and you can hear people walking up above me! Um, you have a shadow detector on the staircase with an EMF meter. So I'm trying to, trying to see if anything's on the staircase. But if the shadows, the shadow movement was just me. If you're there, light that up a little more for me. If you're on the staircase. If you're there, light that up for me. If you're on the staircase. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you do that again? Do you like that we're here? Do you want us to go? Why do you shake the bed? Did you commit suicide here? If you did, light that up. Did you commit suicide? Is that why you're haunting this? Are you the old man that haunts this place? If you are, light that meter up. Thank you. Like I said, we're not here to do you any harm. Stop walking! Do it again. Go up one more. Can you go up to three? My name is Eric, and I'm not here to do you any harm. That's the REM pod going off. Can you do that with the shadow? Can you make the shadow move, move again? Can you make it go up higher? As you guys see, I'm not using any external light right now. Because I want to see if the shadow will come up on the staircase. That's why I have the red light there. And I have the REM pod going off, and I'm down in this basement by myself. If you're here, make a sound. Light up one of the meters. Make it really loud. Can you go all the way across on the meter? Can you light that up for me? My name is Eric. I'm with Haunted in New England. We were asked here by the owner to find out why you're, you're here. We're not here to, to get you angry or we're not here to get you upset with us. We're just wanting to answer some questions, if you can, for us. If you understand that, could you light up the shadow detector? That's the REM pod. Could you light up the shadow detector?
I used to live in Plymouth. I used to work in a little store called Dixon's here in Plymouth. Do you know Dixon's? I hope you do. Light it up. Thank you. I know you're trying to communicate with us with the shadow. We're trying, you know, try to get you to talk with us. Please do. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone for a little while. We're going to be right back, guys. Um, we got we got a psychic joining us shortly here. Hey everybody, and welcome to Haunted in New England tonight's investigation here in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Um, we're down in the basement area, Steve and I, and um, we're trying to find out what's actually going on down here. And um, as you see, we're doing it in black and white for you guys tonight. As you can see, I'm moving my hands. You can see my shadow. Anybody down here that would like to speak with us? It's a heavy, I'm getting like a heavy feeling on my chest down here. Anybody would like to talk with me or Steve or anybody? You don't have to hide. We were asked by Ryan to come in here and check you out. See what's going on. The owner. We're actually going to be using some apps tonight too to try out um, which ones are the real deal and stuff like that. And Steve will be recording this for the YouTube video. Um, Steve's actually out filming us right now as you can see. Our camera guy for tonight. All right, now Elizabeth and I were down here earlier and we got really heavy, like I'm feeling right now in the chest area. If someone's down here that would like to speak with us, please do. As you can hear, we got a spare box, an SB11 running upstairs um, to try to see if we can catch anything. One of the rooms that we saw down here in the basement kind of got us a creep factor a little bit for Elizabeth and I. Um, as you can see, some of the old wiring, stuff like that. This would give off a very high EMF reading down here in the basement. We did a sweep of the area and this gave off a very high reading. Could that be part of the reason that we're getting the heaviness feeling is high EMF. Anybody in there right now that would like to talk with us? It's okay to come out. Come on out. All right. I'm going in this room here. This is a room that we have a peephole in. And my connection might get weak every once in a while, so you guys know that we are down in the basement. And you can see the peephole. We've got an EMF meter here, the ghost meter. If anybody's here, let me know. Can you light this up? Very cold down here, but it looks like some kind of insulation foam, spray foam in this uh, area. Looks like they try to keep it warm during the uh, winter. 
It's kind of a weird feeling in here. You got like, you get, you're feeling like you're being watched through the peephole. Kind of feeling. Kind of got a creep, real creep factor tonight. Anybody in here, please, please, let's talk. Steve and I are here to, to find out who's bothering these young ladies of this house. Anybody here would like to speak with us right now? Please do so. We're also streaming this live tonight on Snapchat, guys. Uh, Ryan will be putting stuff, uh, link into that for you. Getting a heavy feeling in here. Very heavy feeling. And I want to show you guys, you know, like some of the stuff that we've got down here with the wiring and stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing. As you can see, we get near this, we get high EMFs. So, not sure exactly what's going on. We'll also be uh, showing you some psychics that we have with us tonight that are actually with us on investigation. And uh, each one I'm going to do a walkthrough in a live session so you guys get to see if they all match up tonight. If you're over there, please come out. We're not here to do you any harm. We're not here to do you guys any harm. Please join us. We're here to, to find out what's going on. If you want, please come on. Come on out. Sorry for the horn, guys. We have a weak connection down here for some reason in this basement. Seems like there's something trying to block us from showing you guys what's going on. Interesting. I'm hearing like footsteps around me a little bit when I'm not moving. If you're down here, please come on out. We're not here to do you any harm. Can you do that again? Can you light the REM pod up? We just had a hit on the REM pod down here. Could you light that up again for me? Can you light it up? Light it up again. Light it up in my hand. Come to my hand. No need to be shy. Oh, you're sneaky.
Sorry the connection is getting a little weak, guys. Could you do that again? We got a heater going on, guys, down here. Can you do this again? Light it up. Not here to do you any harm. Just let us know that you're here. You just lit it up. Can you do it again? That is uh, lighting up green, everybody, so you guys know. I'm going to shut the filter off and go back to normal. Can you do that again? Can you let Steve and I know that you're here? Keep going. Can you light one of the other ones up? Keep going. I'm going to walk away a little bit. Keep going. Thank you. I'm walking away from it. I'm walking away. Keep going. Someone's here. Let us know right now. Besides lighting up that meter, could you walk by it? Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to walk around a little bit. If you can light that up for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, this is just Steve and I in the basement, no one else with us. Okay, I'm walking away a little bit. Can you light that up, like, shut it off? As you guys can see, I'm pretty far away from it. I'm walking away from it. If someone's there, can you let me know? By shutting it off. Okay, I'm going over here. Okay, let Steve and I know that you're not that you're there. If I shut it off. Thank you. Now I'm halfway across the room, guys, in the basement. Steve's on another corner when that was going off. I just saw a shadow of some kind of movement on the stairs. I don't know if Steve caught that. Can you do that again? Can you walk up the stairs? Can you light up the meter again? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can you do that again? This time, do it three times. Light it up three times.
That's one. Two more times. Shut it off and light it up two more times. Steve, I can hear something like clawing at the wall next to me. Almost sounds like a clawing. That's two. One more time, please. Thank you. That's confirmed. We had three. REM pod hits on this. I keep hearing like something next to me, like something's on the wall next to me, like running its hands across the wall. Thank you. If you can go up the stairs for me, some people would like to see you go up the stairs. See, I'm seeing something to your right a little bit. Thank you. Can you go to the stairs? It feels it. It definitely feels like someone's been getting a heavy chest right now. Am I bothering you? If I'm bothering you, I'll leave this area right now. Can you light that up? Do you hear that, Steve? On the uh, D, on the uh, X um, SB11, it sounded like it said "go." We're down in the basement, guys. So the picture is going to be a little fuzzy, maybe, because of where where we are. But I'm going to try to get you the best evidence I can possibly give you guys tonight on paranormal activity. My, me and my team. Can you light that up or go by the staircase again? Did you hear that, Steve? Giving you guys a different filter. Let's see what you guys think. Can you go up the stairs? Okay. Come on. Let's see what you guys got. I'm nowhere near the REM pod, guys, so you guys understand this. Whatever's here. Uh, so, we're trying to figure out the conversation you're hearing, it's outside. And by the door. I'm going to be going up the stairs in a few seconds. I'm going to leave this area. I'm going to see if the REM pod goes off by itself without me here. Alright. I'm going to be heading upstairs and um, 
see what we got coming on, going on out here. Okay. Heading upstairs to the first floor. Running the SB11. Got a recorder next to it. Try the kitchen. If anybody's in here right now that would like to speak with us, please do so now by lighting up the REM pod. We have REM pods and E-pods all over the house tonight. We have re digital recorders all throughout the house. And uh, we're doing EVP sessions as they're going along. We're waiting on our psychics to show up um, here shortly. Uh, so we can start doing that. If you're near the uh, REM pod, could you light it up for me? Or one of the devices. One of the reports in here, they say that a drawer moves and opens and closes. Silverware gets played with. Alright. I'm going to move out of here. And if you want, follow me by lighting up that, that REM pod. Do you hear that? Okay. All right, we're heading out to command post. And what we're going to do is take a little bit of a breather. And we're going to be back with some more stuff for you guys, okay? See you. Hey guys, we are here in Manchester tonight. I'm going to show you where we're at. We're in this building. We were asked to come in and check it out. As you can see. We have an SB11 going AM and FM down at the end of the hallway. One of the rooms. Sorry for the weak connection guys a little bit. This is where we are tonight. This is one of the floors. What's up just trying to interfere with the camera? Uh, we have... Uh, Oh, so don't I, Amy. Uh, some of the places we got here, we got a shadow detector going on in the hallway. We have a recorder, task cam recorder running here. I'm going to check on our, our girls. And this is Lynn. She's out with us tonight. And here is Wendy, guys. Hi. And here is Ray. Hey, how we doing? So we're all here out here tonight, guys, so you guys can see this. Uh, sorry for the weak connection. It could be the building, guys. By the looks here, look like there used to be a staircase going down here. If you look at the wall very carefully. So I'm not sure if there is one here. The windows are all boarded up. So we have no outside interference with light. At all. So we are checking this out, guys. We have a, wow, look at this right here. Watch this. I know it's so much full. Go right here. I think it's great. Okay, I'm going to walk into our room, guys, so you guys can see. Tell me if you guys see anything during this investigation, guys.
There's a shadow detector going off, huh? You got the red pod, uh, Lynn? Yeah. It's up to 0.45, 1.5. What is it, Ray? It was 1.53, so it should be 0.5. Okay. Yeah, we're going to So this building's got some interesting stuff going on. All right, why don't we set that down over there towards the corner? Um, yeah, right about there. Okay. We just set down the REM pod. I'm going to run real time EVP while I'm doing this so we can play it back in case something comes in. So you guys can hear it. And record. Eric, EVP session in Manchester, New Hampshire. Anybody in here right now? Could you light that up for me? Can you light the REM pod? We're not here to do you any harm. We're just here to talk with you. We were called in because someone wanted to talk with you. From the doorway. Interesting. Camera flash. If you're there right now, light that up. If you want, we can walk away. If you light that up for us. Hey Wendy, what do you feel in this room? Take that REM pod and put it in the doorway right there. Someone told us to do that. You go right by. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't get why it's, why it's weird. It doesn't get why it's weird. It's, it's still... Did someone, did he leave here suddenly? Did something sudden, I mean it looks like it was sudden, but something sudden happened while he left or he passed, do we know? We don't know. That's why we were called in. I feel like he's still, he doesn't understand, but to him everything is still normal. It's, everything is here, like the dentist, everything is here, but he's, it, it just feels weird. He doesn't know that, he's, that it's not, he doesn't know the time has passed on. He doesn't know it's moved on. Just heard a, a, a little girl's voice behind me in the hallway. Did you hear it, Ray? I did not. It's down the hallway. I'm picking up only what I can feel, but I can't. I can't hear anything. I just pick up. I heard her say hello. It was down down the hallway. Because in the other room, I felt like a little. I felt like a little boy in the other room. Like they wanted you to just sit there, just just stay. Like they told me to stay, I wanted to stay, and just wanted to sit in the other room. Um, like, because mom, mommy told me to stay, I have to stay here. So, like, we're stay here but it was sorry, sorry, Gary, on that. We're working on that. Uh, it's the signal that the building that we're in. So it's weird. So I don't, I don't know what it is, but in the other room around there, it felt like, like a kid, like, they told me to stay, so I'm going but I don't know why I'm here, but I'm waiting. That's why what I felt in the other room. But, I mean, it doesn't feel like a, if it's here, it feels like it's, it's still the older guy. Right. We're going to leave the REM pod in here. We're going to walk around. 
Yeah, we did. <coughs> we did do a uh, check. We did do a whole sweep. So we're going to walk around here a little bit, see what we can come up with. Sorry for the uh, okay. how's that, Gary? Better? Okay. We are in one of the rooms on the second floor of this building. Something is uh, pulled her into this room to come in here. We keep getting a connection week every few minutes. Getting what? Connection week on the phone for the Wi Fi. Yeah, and some of it, it seems that she's looking at old newspapers that were left here on the floor, trying to get a date on them. 19, Boston Daily Globe, January 17th, 1935. What was the, uh, the cover story? Story hosted by 5-4 Vote. Convicts forced away out of San Quentin. Yeah. Wow. 1935. Some history here, guys. Give you guys a better view of the room so you see what we're looking at. Well, I can't tell you exactly that, what's going on, Chuck, because of the, the having a psychic on hand right now. But I definitely will uh, write you when I get a chance to tell you. Hey, Walter. Thanks for watching from San Diego. Presley mystique remains. Ooh. Elvis Presley, the faithful, still flock to him. This one's 1977. 1977? And what was this one? 1935. Boston Daily Globe. Wow. When, uh, we opened up the chest in the other room. Yeah. And newspaper is in 1946. Oh, where? Yeah. Um, and you get an awful vibration out of there. Oh, yeah. And there was this weird thing with chains on it in the chest, like it would fit over your head or something. Weird. I don't know what that is. Weird. We're gonna be. We're gonna be, Jerry. We, we promise we'll be safe. We're walking down the hallway now. Hopefully our signal gets a little better. As you can see, we got SB11 going down the hallway. Let's see if we can catch anything. Old newspaper. 1946. Old newspapers. Old playing cards. <coughs> an old book. Looks like an old postcard book. Check this out.
What would they use this for? I don't know, but I don't want to hold it. It's the whole thing. I... Look at that, guys. But I just want to put it down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Look at the rusher. No rusher. What's this? All papers. Mathematics books. Stereos. Bike helmet. I think that's a bike helmet. Yeah. <coughs> Looks like an old, old postcard from back in the day. This could be neat. Okay, I'm going to walk around a little bit, guys. I'm going to set this off for a second, guys. Guys, guys, come here. There's like a sound down the hallway. Let's go down there. Yeah, let's go. Guys, I just heard like something sounded like it was uh, putting something together down the hallway. You guys stay in here, don't make a sound. Someone down here with us? Someone down here? Hey, I just heard a kid. That is weird. I'm going to turn my light away from that so you guys can see. The, uh, hold on guys, sorry about this. Okay, I want you guys to see what the shadow detector is doing right now. If someone's here right now, can you light that shadow detector up? Point one, point two. Okay, can you light that up again for us? Thank you. Can you go up one? There you go. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. There's another device there that you can light up if you want. Right at the end. What you can do. If you want to light it up, let Lynn and I know that you're here. Interesting. Interesting. Now when your light hits, it's going off. But that's going off on its own. That's interesting. No. No, he says there's no power on these floors up whatsoever.
Go ahead, light that up. That's the rim pod. That's the rim pod. Can you do that again? Stand over that way and see if you spot it. Can you do that again? Okay, I'm going to turn the light on it, guys, so you guys can see where we're looking at. So REM pod just was going off all the colors in this little doorway, like uh, Jerry said. That was, all the lights lit up. 